Hello, fellow Daz Studio enthusiasts. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to another Daz tutorial. Now, today I want to talk a little bit about a problem that we can get with our clothing called poke through. Poke through is where our character is poking through the garment, the clothing that we add to her. And so to give you an example of this, I'm going to take my Milica character and I am going to add this cloak to her. And I've noticed uh, with other comics and other pictures that I've been making that this robe, when I use it, actually creates a lot of poke through. And poke through usually occurs when our character has a unique shape. You know, maybe it's a monster, or maybe you're making your character very voluptuous, you know, very curvy, or maybe, you know, they have some unique trait to them. And then when you add clothes, you're gonna get this poke through. Um, we can also get poke through once we add our clothing and then we put our character into a more extreme pose. So maybe we've got a an extreme type of pose that we put her in where she's doing a somersault or something like that and we get poke through. Now clothing that's designed for your character is gonna rarely need to be adjusted and it fits usually really well. But sometimes you may get this poke through and that's why I'm going to choose this robe is because it's happened to me in the past. Now we also get poke through uh, occasionally when we are trying to add clothing that actually fits a different character like Genesis 3 onto our Genesis 8. And when we add it or if I'm trying to add let's say female clothing to a male character or vice versa we may sometimes get this poke through that we have to deal with. So let's look at an example of poke through. I'm going to add this robe to my Milica girl. And it is crazy at first. I hate the uh, texture on this when we first look at it. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to just choose a uh, much more pleasant texture. Let's choose this blue. I'm going to change the color of the belt as well. And this is going to allow us to have visuals on poke through. Now right away we can see that there's poke through with Milica's underwear. You know I always put underwear on her because this is YouTube and I can't show her naked. But if I hide the underwear our poke through goes away. So when you look at our character, this pose that she's in, as I spin her around, that is poke through right there. You can see it right on her butt. But see, when I let go of it, Daz is going to adjust and then fit that clothing to her. So it looks actually pretty good. The big problem with this cloak on Milica is going to be the hood. So you can see the hood is right here and her hair is poking through. That looks terrible. And so the first thing that I'm going to do when I have this kind of a situation is I'm going to select my clothing item and then I'm going to look down in the parameters tab under actor to see if there's any adjustments. And so the adjustments highly vary depending on your clothing item, but if you notice for this cloak, we have some hood adjustments. So in this case, I can take the hood and I can raise it up. I can also make it wider, which kind of helps. However, it's not going to fix everything. So as I adjust this, if I click on Milica and Rotator, you can see that we still have some problems. One of the things that I did is I selected Milica's hair and I simply hid her ponytail. 
So that can be an option. We can hide things. So here you can see if I unselect that ponytail, now we've got some major hair issues. So I may have to hide items. So I'm just hiding that, whoops, I'm just hiding that ponytail and getting it out of the way. But we still have a lot of poke through with her hair. So the next step I'm going to do is I am going to simulate this. So if you have a D-Force enabled clothing item, you definitely want to run a simulation to get her and her clothing in the correct position. Just to see what's going to happen. I didn't test this, but I'm kind of interested. If I select that hood, and uh, let's just um, make this hood bigger. So I'm going to take this top and kind of make it above her head. And let's make this wider. And let's see if we simulate if that's going to fix our issue. Okay, so you can see that that really did help. Of course, the simulation is going to adjust the clothes to our character's body. If I spin her around, you can see that we still have poke through with her hair. So unfortunately, the, the D-Force simulation, it didn't fix the entire problem. We still have some hair poking through. Now, really, there's only a couple of things you can do with this. You can position your character so you just don't see the poke through. You can fix it through post work after you render your picture. Or if you have Mesh Grabber, that add on, you can use Mesh Grabber to just pull out the clothing slightly and cover up the poke through hair. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, select my clothing item this robe and then I'm gonna go up to my tools and I'm gonna select mesh grabber now you can find mesh grabber in the Daz studio shop and purchase it but it's gonna cost you a little bit of money I've left a link down to my mesh grabber tutorial so if you're interested in learning more about mesh grabber you can watch my other tutorial on it I highly recommend it. It's a very good tool. It's a great um, addition to your Daz Studio library because watch what we can do with this. With my robe selected, I can just click and kind of drag over the clothing item where the hair is. And then I can click on my arrows and I can just simply move slightly move my robe to hide the hair. We don't want to move it very much because we don't want it distorted. Let's see, I can just move it slightly and I can get rid of the poke through this way. This just makes life so much easier because I gotta be honest with you, I am not a fan of post work. I try and get as much of my picture complete in Daz Studio as I possibly can because I don't want to do a lot of post work. There is sometimes, you know, that necessary evil of post work. And um, I will make a tutorial here at one point in time where I show you how I do post work. You might be kind of surprised how I conduct post work. But now, using Mesh Grabber, you can see that the hair is pretty much gone. I've got maybe a little piece of hair right here that I could work on. This one stubborn part. Okay. So I am very pleased with that. So if I twirl Milica around, you can see that now she's got her hood covering her hair and her head. 
All right, so maybe a little high. We can run a spot render. Let's see what her face looks like. You know, I don't think that looks that bad. The hood may be floating kind of over her head just slightly. We could use Mesh Grabber to mess with that, but I'm kind of happy with how that looks. So we're just gonna we're just gonna keep her as she is. But let me show you some of these other characters. I originally created these other characters for a comic that I'm creating, and I have some major poke through. So see, on this character, it's an old lady. Um, she has quite a bit of poke through. Uh, same with my other older ladies. They have various poke through. Now, I don't know if it's their shape. They're kind of smaller characters once you, once you um, select them. But you can see that some of the older characters have other poke through. So it's, it's their hair. You can see her hair is a poke through. But she also has skin that's poking through. Let's run a simulation and let's see what happens to especially this lady on the right. Let's see what happens to her poke through when we simulate the clothing for them. Okay, so the simulation is finished and you can see I still have this poke through on my older woman. Now again, we really have a couple choices. Um, something that we can do is hide the area of our character's body. And this is going to work just fine for a character that's wearing this cloak. I can just click on, for example, her pelvis and we can hide it and you can see that as I select these that poke through goes away and so that's really handy however this is impractical if she's wearing anything that would need to show the rest of her leg or other parts of her body if we hide it then she's invisible this cloak just happens to work however that doesn't make a whole lot of sense in a lot of cases. So your best bet to try um, to get rid of this is to go back to the adjustments and we can see if we scroll down this has a good chance because there is a lot of adjustments to um, perhaps fix this with the adjustments but you can see back and out's not gonna do it belted hood. We can put their hood down on this, which is kind of cool. Belted, waist side, waist move front back. Let's try the waist move front back. So that is kind of helping. I might be able to get rid of the limits on the parameters and continue to move this. All right, so I'm getting that poke through almost out. There's still some poke through kind of on her left side still. And so I may just have to default back to selecting my mesh grabber. And just cutting right across. Just pulling it out slightly and that gets rid of any issues. So if you don't want to do a lot of post work, I suggest Mesh Grabber. Unless you have a good garment like this, Cloak is pretty good and uh, it will have a lot of adjustments. A lot of clothing doesn't have those adjustments or it has less adjustments. And so if I look at this, our lady over here has more poke through. 
coming out right here. So I might be able to just select her leg. And because she has this cloak, I may just be able to bend this leg, getting rid of that poke. Okay, so you can see I, I've gotten rid of that poke through. So luckily our poke through is just not as big of a problem as it used to be. But if you run into it, you may still need to do some adjustments. All right, now I think I'm ready to run another render. And let's see what we get. I hope you found this video informing. Kind of simple. In this case, we don't have an easy fix. I wish that we did, but you either have to hide body parts, use the adjust in the parameters to change your clothing, or use the mesh grabber, which I think is probably the best option. But now I've got this scene ready, and uh, let's render it. I appreciate you liking, subscribing, and commenting. And uh, let me know if you want to see something in the future. I have some tutorials planned, but I'm always interested in new ideas. So until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.